Hi, hello guys, welcome back to Rosa Model Channel. How are you today? Do you feel fine? This is the word that I have to say all the time in my video. Uh, people, as you can see on the table, we will focus today on the pista. We will continue work on the pista. Uh, for the people that uh, do the giveaway and see the video and how many times I said the word guys, I decide to make one more month for you that you will uh, see the video and uh, tell me exactly the number that uh, uh, I want to know and uh, maybe you, one of you can get uh, this uh, Alpha Model Kits a great company that sent me a lot of kits uh, as you can see we finished the Bugatti you can see the photo over there uh, on the project on the club and uh, I decided to make one more joint project with great man uh, hey Obi as you know him my good friend Asi from USA uh, it's amazing uh, part to do it together. Uh, we decide which kit we will do. Uh, I think uh, people, if you love carbon fiber, this is the man to do it. And if you think, and if you think that is not here, so let me surprise you. Today, Asi here in Israel, he come to visit me and he want to say to you a few words. Asi, come here. Yaniv! Hello! How you been, man? Fine, How's fine. I'm very excited. Hello, everybody. How you doing? Everything wow, okay. This is very exciting. Look at all this. You, you see so my lab. Finally, you see my lab. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> and your Bugatti, your master hand. It came out beautiful. I have to say that, uh, you know, you did a great job. Everything matches. Thank you, people. It's really nice. In Do reality, it looks much better. Much, much better. I love it. I feel like taking it back from you. No, no, it's <laughs> here with me because I love it so much. It came out really nice, really nice, beautiful, everything. I'm so glad we did it together. And uh, it's uh, really an honor to work with Yaniv. I came to visit him, he invited Thank me in here. Much. So we can I, do some uh, videos him, and, uh, and do I some carbon it. fiber. And uh, you got a, a lot of projects over here. I can yes, see that. It's, I think uh, we will make. It's amazing. I'm getting all confused. Which one we should do the next one? I think what we do you can think? make the pista once again in the club. The pista is a, it's a beautiful car. Yes. Yeah, I never I never Before did a I pista take. before, so I can tell you. I mean, uh, uh, let's see the pro. Let me see the, the let me see the pista for a second. Let me see yes. the car. I have one in the US, but I've uh, never had a chance to look at it. That's a beautiful car. Yes, guys. Yeah, definitely. Be and, ready. Uh, yeah, we can, we can definitely do something with this project. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alpha model uh, is really uh, easy uh, material to work with, to do carbon fiber. Of course. It's, it's a different than plastic. So, uh, yeah, we can definitely, I mean, uh, we gotta think, think about, about it. it. I think we should, uh, I think it's not a bad idea. If you like it, you got a knife? Of course. Thank you very much. Let's People, see, let's see what do we you got believe? In here. Hey, Bobby, he's here with me. Yeah, Niv will not <laughs> leave me alone. He invited me to come and be in his beautiful uh, working shop over here. here. What do you think about and, the uh, we we getting uh, excited to do another model together since uh, we got that beautiful Bugatti. Yes, of it course. It came up amazing. I'm very happy with the results. That's why we will make it you again. You did amazing. You did amazing. And uh, yeah, definitely. Look at this beautiful. Wow, that's a beautiful body. <laughs> Show them. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, I would love to cover this car with carbon fiber. You have another one of your Yes, head. this is for one, one, will one be of full my carbon. Customer. One. Oh, he should be very happy. Beautiful job. The car looks amazing. Thank you. They thank always you. look much better in reality. And uh, the color, the red, everything looks amazing. So, yeah. What do you think I about think, this I think, in carbon fiber? I think it would look amazing. I definitely uh, gonna have to take this with me. Of course. And uh, make some templates for it. Cover it with carbon fiber. And uh, when I finish it, Send it to I me. I send it to you. But what do you think? You think we should put the the, the same? I love to see the decals on it. Uh, Definitely. With the stickers the on Italian it. Italian flag. Yeah, it would be wow. amazing if we do it on together. the carbon. On top of wow. it. Once I finish doing the carbon fiber, we can definitely, definitely. Uh, I think it's a good idea. I think we should do that. Just uh, you know, just uh, do it full carbon and uh, put the stickers on it on the top, and and uh, it would be amazing. Going I think. To be awesome. Yeah, I think. Uh, it's definitely uh, a car that would look great in carbon fiber, split carbon. If you want to see we'll it, guys, book match. all you need to do is join to the definitely. club. Together yeah, with me. The car looks amazing. 
I'll see here. And uh, I'll let you do the rest of it. You of can course. do the rest of it. Of uh, but uh, you told me you have some carbon over here you want me to help you with. Yes, to yes, do some carbon yes. for you. People. Even though you uh, can do it. I decide. Uh, you want me to do some carbon for you. Yes. So come on. I, uh, In this part. I would love get to. Get there with me. I'll see here. We will flip the camera. We will change the angle of the camera. You will see how we start from the beginning to yeah. make small parts with definitely, carbon fiber. Definitely. With all this tip, uh, I think uh, this video will you will not see many parts of uh, the process and uh, how to handle with the pista. But one part is better than nothing. With us, in the master of carbon, guys. <laughs> you the know, master of I love it, and uh, yes, that's he love I it so much. I love he, he have a lot of tips for you guys to see it and uh, enjoy. And uh, I think this is the first time that uh, you see me and Asi together. So don't forget, give a likes. Subscribe to this channel. You have a beautiful place over here too, Yaniv. I love it. Thank you, thank I'm you. Really impressed. Thank you. Zero pain. Thank you very much, yeah. Alpha Model, all the, the shop, the company that support Russo Model. Uh, I really enjoy all the time and say a big thank you. And the big, big thank you is for you guys. Thank you very much. Let's start Asi because you have a lot of work. I think. Oh, this yeah, I can work. One part around that power. <laughs> Let's start and enjoy, guys. Have a good day. They continue with Asi. Bye bye. Awesome. Let's do it. Hello, everybody. So, as you can see, I uh, came to visit Yaniv. He invited me. Very nice of him. And uh, it's a privilege to be here. And uh, that will be the, the parts that I'm going to do. I'm going to do, I'm going to cover this area in here. That's where the engine goes. I'm going to cover those two areas and a little bit in here with some carbon fiber. And uh, I'm gonna create a template for it first, and it's gonna be uh, two different directions. So the first thing I'm gonna use is the tape that I always like to use. It's a Tamiya tape, here you go. Okay, so that's something that I always use, and uh, you'll see through the progress how I'm gonna do it. So let's start doing it, and uh, the first thing I will do is cut me a nice piece over here, and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start right in here what i like to do is i like to use that uh, wooden stick this is the wooden stick that i like to do and uh let's start working on it i'm gonna create a template for it you know the template is very important it just makes your life easier when you create a template i kind of put too much in here so i'm gonna cut that excess over here okay and uh we'll continue so i'm gonna it's not a don't have to be perfect except for me the most important part is here I'm gonna try to get it exactly over here that's the most important part and the rest of it even if it goes out a little bit you're not gonna see it once I put it in the car and uh, you got that little lump over here that I'm gonna have to cut eventually with the knife but meantime I'm just gonna create the template make sure that I get the right size Yaniv, do you have the carbon fiber sheets that we're going to do it with? Of course. All right, yes, all course. right. I'm here excited and ready for Awesome, what you want. awesome, awesome. Which what you want? Uh, let's do the, the one, the, we can do the 120 or the 124, it's up to you. I want the 120. Okay, we'll do the one that I like to use, the 120 scale. The twill wave. So. Who is the company? That's, of course, I only use Scale Motorsport Company. Uh -huh. Their product is the best. Never uh, ever had been disappointed from it. It's really easy to work with. It's an amazing product. And uh, you know, that's uh, something that, uh, that's the only thing I use. Why you use the pen? I'm using the pencil. I'm not using the pen, I'm using a pencil. Pencil, why? Uh, in this situation, it doesn't matter. You can use anything, but uh, sometimes when I use the pencil, like in here, what I'll do is, just for marking, say if I want to use the edge, say so I can use it like that but in this case I don't have to use a pencil I'm just like I said the most important part for me is that edge over here mm -hmm. and the rest of it is going to be a little extra you know I'm just gonna have an idea how far I'm gonna go with that and that's all you know just so I can get an idea I'm gonna cut a little bit over it and uh, you know you don't want to have the whole sheet so basically I'm just gonna leave a little mark. It's not gonna be the best looking template because I really don't have to don't have to be exact because I'm gonna have a little bit over here 
coming out and a little bit inwards that you're not gonna see, but that's basically what I'm looking for. That's the idea that I'm trying to get. And like I said, that's the most important part for me over here. I make sure that I got it right because I'm gonna start over here. And then the rest of it, we'll just work it out. Okay, I'm just gonna give me a little mark, not to take too much of it, just so I can have an idea. It's gonna be all the way to that point over here. So let's flip it over, make sure I can mark those areas just for the heck of it too. Just to get an idea. We don't have to be uh, perfect over here. Just to get an idea because it's definitely gonna be bigger than what it's showing. And uh, awesome. I got a little bit idea. You see, that's that's the line I was talking about, Yaniv. Yes, to make see. sure that's, that's the most important part. This is the more important part. Yes, this now this is gonna be the direction. So it's up to you how you wanna do it. I like to do it 90 degree, meaning that way. And then this way, well, I think if the line is gonna go this way, Let's see if they can see the lines. Okay, well, the direction in here is going to be this way. So we're gonna go that way in this direction, I think. Let's see, I'm always looking around. What do you think, this direction? Or that it's direction? Up to you, you the master. Uh, yeah, we, you know, it really doesn't matter because we're gonna do it either way. Both sides uh -huh. will be against each other, 90 degrees. So awesome. we're gonna go with this side, fine, no problem. So I got the template right here. Here it is, I got the sheet. So we decided this is gonna be the line. Now if you look at the part, this is how the part is. This is my line, so sometimes I do it with my eye. You don't have to be exact. Uh, so we're gonna go that direction in here. So basically, I'm just gonna line it up right here, right in here, and then just cut it. Okay, I like to use scissors. So I'm just gonna cut a little square piece. There's always leftovers, so you don't have to be exact. Raining in Israel. I can see that. <laughs> Where I come from Florida, it's a beautiful weather. It's sunny all the time. Next time in your land. Yeah, you're welcome to, uh, you invite me over here. I'll invite you to Florida too. So like I said, the most important line is this one here. So I'm just gonna cut this guy here exactly. To be exact, that's what I'm looking at right there and uh, I'm not sure how far I'm gonna go in here in here I'm just gonna cut a little bit more and in here I'm gonna cut a little bit more and basically that's all I need uh, that's basically the part that I'm thinking to do and uh, it looks like it's gonna be a little extra you know so I'm gonna look at it again make sure that it fits okay definitely I'll have an extra over here so I'll cut a little bit more That's one of those weird looking parts. So we got it in here and uh, we're gonna need to take this. We're gonna put it in water. Okay. And uh, like we said, the direction is gonna be that way. So we're doing great. Okay. Guys, what you see here? We're gonna put it in water. It's a gold. It's a gold. It's a gold acknowledged from the master. We're going to put a little bit of water in there. Move all the extra pieces out of here. This template we're gonna use for the other side. I'm so excited. I'm excited to be here too, man. Thank you for inviting me. It's, it's <laughs> awesome. an honor, you know? I never, uh, you know, expected that you invited me, so... Uh, I'm very excited, you know? Thank you, Asi. And we'll do this together. And uh, we need a brush. I wait for the... Shove him in there a little video bit. Video for the club, also. It's sitting in the water. What I do is, I take... We'll take some uh, micro set. The blue one? Yeah, I call it blue and red. But it's micro set. It acts like glue, basically. It's very important to put that on. You use a, a brush? Yeah, I use a brush. You know, and uh, you know, you can use the Scale Motorsport uh, liquid too. I don't have it in here, but uh, it's the same idea. And uh, don't be afraid to load it in, you know. So I'm gonna put it all over the area that I'm gonna apply the carbon fiber decal to it. It's gonna be a little bit in here too, but you're not gonna see it, but it's okay. And uh, we'll go from there. Let's see what happens. It's always the first time that I do. Yes. I never did that part. 
So, you know? It looks amazing. Yeah, the, the material, I'm waiting for the decal to... Uh, be ready. To be ready. You need a tweezer. Uh, yeah, we need a tweezer. You got a tweezer anywhere? Let's see. Yes, and you've got all the best tools in the world. <laughs> Let's see if she's ready. Oh, it looks like it's ready because you see how it moved already? Mm -hmm. uh, almost. Give it another, give it another second. Another second. Yeah, another second. Let's continue to play with the micro set. Take a minute, I don't care. Well, you have to take your time with carbon fiber decals. If you don't have patience, that's number one rule. You have to have patience with it, you know? And uh, like I said, I'm curious how it's gonna come out because, you know, it's never did that kind of part. Usually, it's always the first time for us, every part. Here we go, I think we're doing good. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do, let's move that water a little bit away so we can have some room. First thing I'm gonna do is take this and remember, I told you, the most important part for me in here is this line, okay? Inside. The line that I was working on to make sure it's gonna be good and you have to play with it. You have to, you know, make sure it's good. Here we go. We got the line, it sits right in, perfectly in here. That was the goal, right in here, perfect in here. And the rest of it, is later on so we did that okay i want to make sure i can fold it and it's not going to give me a hard time in here that's my next guy that there is a little lump over here so what we're going to do is we're just going to apply and do it with the brush i don't care about the rest of it for the for the, the first the most important thing for me right now is if you look at the other side that's the most important part in here mm -hmm. and you can see the lump over there so we're just going to sit in here and make sure it's firmed over here. Okay, get all the water and the liquid out of it. Okay, I'm always looking at the other side because once you cover it with carbon fiber decal, you don't see everything yet. Mm -hmm. So I'm going like this. See, it's a little bit, I think now what I'm gonna do is, the way it is, I'm gonna use a hair dryer. Right away, don't need to work so hard. Put it on a nice speed and heat. Blow a little bit. As you can see, that's the hair dryer. There we go. All right, that's good enough. Mm -hmm. Giving the carbon fiber dick a little sign that you know she will be firmed in there, and continue to work on it. You start from inside to outside. Yeah. First of all, I want to catch an area, and like I told you, I wanted to make sure this is perfect over here. I don't care about the rest because the rest is gonna be fold over and you're not gonna see it. So you can see there's a little bubbles over here I'm fighting. Mm -hmm. I don't like to have bubbles anywhere. What do you mean is the bubble? It's the air. bubbles inside because it's got the vent in there supposedly. So you gotta, I'm pushing the air out of there. It's more like air, but let's do it, let's say it that way. Okay, then there is that little guy over here that's sticking up over here. Then I'm looking at and continue. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a Q-tip mm -hmm. and I'm gonna put it in a little micro set. Just so you can see, I'm gonna stick in a little micro set a little bit and continue with it. Instead of with the brush, I'm just gonna a little bit firm everything in here and just give it, mix it a little bit more softer. Not much, it's not like micro sole. Micro sole will make it like butter and uh, it will melt like I don't know I don't like to use it right away it's definitely um, a great thing to use in some locations but not in this situation right now because I don't want it to be too soft and then I'll lose control over the decal mm -hmm. so the most important thing is I'm still trying to get those vents yes and you can see I'm fighting it fighting it you know what I'm saying fighting it is continue to stay on that area I don't care about anywhere else except that area over here, okay? You're looking over there, and what I'm doing is I'm trying to work it out in here too, in that little lump over here, so we don't have any issues. And then you got a little wrinkle over here, but we'll get to that later on. Here we go. It's getting there, slowly, slowly. Mm -hmm. It's getting there. Let's see, let's start getting the shape. Awesome. 
You like to use that word awesome, awesome. 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 Well, it's getting there, slowly, slowly. It's getting there. Let's take the brush, soak it in a micro set too. Get it all wet. You can see I'm using another micro set. Yes. I love to use micro set. I don't love to use micro sole, but I love to use micro set. You love to use you see, it's kind of giving you a little wrinkle in here. Mm -hmm. When you have a wrinkle, you push it that way. Mm -hmm. You don't go sideways on top of it. Yes. You just push it this way, and eventually it'll work it out. As you can see, you know, I'm very meticulous when it comes to doing my job. So I, I have to it. make sure that it comes out really good. It's almost there, it's almost there. It's almost there, I'm just trying to get the air out of it. Okay, now I'm gonna use the hair dryer again. I'm gonna suck some of that liquid that I put in there. Let's see if she's stuck in there first. I'm sorry, Aniv. Let's see. Okay. Let's get rid of that too. Oops, see I pushed it in. I don't wanna push it. I don't want it to go further than that. Can they see? Yeah, 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 they can see really good. Up to that point. If I continue in here, we'll push it and create a wrinkle. I'm not there yet. See that area right there? It looks like it's causing trouble. So I'm staying away from it. I'm only concentrating on the area that's flat. Okay, all right. Now I'm gonna use the hairdryer again. Put a nice amount of heat on it. Here we go, less speed. Okay, now let's work with the brush again. You can see that I'm giving everything I got on that area because once I get this area done, then everything should play no problem with it. Now I can see that we got this area as soon as I push it. So we're gonna take a knife and just poke it right in here, voila. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is after I poked it, I'm going to start shoving it in. Okay. Let's see in here. Super. You take your time. Yeah, you must. You must. You want it to come out look, look real. This is what I want people know. See, you don't rush with it. You want it to come out perfect, okay? I'm gonna review it. What I'm gonna do in here is, I'm gonna give it a little cut in here either. See that? Okay, pick it up a little bit. Pick it up, you're not, those areas, you're not gonna see it. Because inside the... Yeah, it's where the engine compartment is. Look, you're already stuck in there a little bit, but it's okay, you lift it up a little lightly. A little lightly, here it is. Voila, okay. Because I didn't want it to stick yet. I want it to be in here and find that point. Okay, you got that little angle over here. Okay. This is the area over here. Now we're gonna take the Q-tip that I sucked in the in the micro set and start going after the, some of the wrinkles in here because it's curved. And in curves, there's always gonna be wrinkles. So I'm gonna start going this way, trying to stretch this area in here and beat the curve over here. Okay. Very gentle too, you gotta be very gentle with it. You're applying a little pressure, not much. Let's 
Trying to get all the air out of those vents. And always take your time. a little bit Just building the little wrinkles I don't want it to be wrinkled at all get rid of the wrinkles okay all right now we got that little lump over here I want it to stick as much as it could over here and then go from there on see it's not stuck over there yet okay over here I'm saying to myself we don't need that extra piece over here so we're just gonna poke it in here and get it out so we can pull this guy in here we get in there we get in there slowly but surely to get the bubbles out of the vents. There we go. Get in there. in this business if you rush then the results won't come out perfect so I'm taking my time and then I want you to be happy with the job I'm happy that you are here ah yeah it's awesome thank you for inviting me again very nice of you really happy to be here It's getting there. I'm having a little trouble in here. I'm fighting this guy over here. I believe you. When I say fighting is I don't give up. I go back and forth. And slowly, slowly, it would give up. I'm trying to get the material to stick. Mm -hmm. And the more it sticks, the more I can stretch it. It's really hard for the camera to see what I'm doing, but you can imagine. This is Later on, you'll see the pictures and you'll understand, but we wanted to make it look like real carbon fiber. And it's really not a big job to do, but it takes time. It always takes time. Okay, now what we're gonna do is, let's see, before I heat it up again, I wanna make sure in here that we're doing good over here. There we go. air out of it, get the air out of here, the angle over here, it's hard to see, but we get there. Here we go, it's getting there slowly, slowly, see that? Mm -hmm. See how all the air coming out of it? Amazing. And we don't care about all this. You can cut it later on, if you, if you don't want it, if you don't want it. 
but you're not going to see it anyway, so who Nobody cares? Nobody see it because nope. it's inside the car. Yeah, you put it inside the car and it'll be covered. So the most important thing is in here. I have a little bit work over here on the edge and where we cut it over here, but we get in there. Now we're going to use the heater a little bit again. Let's do the heater. <coughs> Okay, go back to the socked Q-tip with the micro set. It's wet, so I'm using it because I use heat and you can imagine with that kind of heat, with this amount of time that I did it. And the decal, everything is so soft, everything is so gentle. I'm doing it gently too, but it's wet and it's wet with the micro set, not micro sole. Micro sole would have ripped it already. It would have been ripped. Already by now, you can see how come. Look at this. Look how smooth it became. Any? Anyway. Yes. I look see how it. shiny it is. Before I even put 2K on it, I don't know if the guys can see it. You can see how shiny it is. Amazing. Yaniv did a good job on the paint too. The paint is very important. If you don't do a nice clean job on the paint, then the job will not look as shiny. And then I know you can do 2K on it, and uh, the 2K can prevent it from looking. You know, you see all the lumps and all the issues that. Uh, take the beauty out of it but we have to do it good from the beginning and once you do it nice and clean from the beginning when you put 2k on it one shot you don't have to use any uh, cleaning materials or to send it down or anything like that you just uh, basically just you know making it you put the job in the beginning you don't put the job at the end you know what I mean if you cut corners in the beginning then at the end you will work harder and it will take you longer time we don't want that. We want to do it one shot, one time. See, now you can see the edges over here. They're working out with me. I'm pushing it a little bit. After heating it up and put it in the micro set, slowly but surely, it's getting there. Everything firmed in here. It looks great. I'm, I'm very happy with the results so far. I'm just trying to get a little bit more of that little bubbles that you can hardly see. It's almost done. I just like to make sure and Make sure it's a hundred percent. It's gotta be always for me, it's gotta be the best I can do. I enjoy every second of it. Because when I finish this, I want I want it to look really good with the pictures, you know, with the photos of today. You zoom into it and you can see all the details, beautiful. So here we go. Now on the edge. In here I'm gonna start using a little brush and push everything here with the brush and then sh start to push on it and push the air bubbles sometimes if you have a little air bubble or it doesn't want to come out you can poke it with a knife like if out you go what do you mean like I don't have any issues in here but it's okay you take a little knife it's got to be a little sharp and I'm gonna poke it right in here see I put a hole you can't see it you don't cut it, you just poke it with a hole. And when I do that, if there is any air bubble getting caught, I'll go both ways towards that hole. And as you can see in here, it works it all out to into here and in here. And uh, yeah, we wanna make sure that it's all the way to the point that we see. Okay, now we are working on this part here. Let's see, where is this guy here? He's got that little lump, get the air bubble out of it. And uh, let's start wrapping this guy up a little bit in here. Slowly, slowly. Push it with the Q-tip to get it deeper in there. 
I mean, you can use microsole, but as you can see, I didn't use microsole at all because it would, would probably would have taken you a little faster, but it will be out of control. And then uh, it would be very hard to work with it, and uh, it would be now I'm going to take a little dry one because it's a little wet in this area, too much liquid, and start drying this area. Okay. Sometimes I just take my finger, I have more feelings with it, and stretch that area. You use your finger? Yeah, you know, you can use all kind of tools, you know, just... Uh, just uh, also tool? Well, I can feel it better, I, I the sense of it, mm -hmm. you know, just to stick it in there. Okay, you see I have that little axis over here, so I'm just gonna stick it into here. I'm gonna use the heater one more time. What do we got in here? Okay. All right, let's do that curve over here. Here we go. Do this one over here too. We're not cutting nothing yet. Now let's do the heater. Beautiful. Take the Q-tip again and work that out again. Yeah, make sure you guys see what I'm doing. That little part in here takes time, but again. It's not like somebody gives you the template and you put it on and if it's perfect, we have to create it and you're not depending on any company to create you that template. You just cut the piece the way it should be and you work it in there and uh, you know, this part in reality is carbon fiber so you want it to make it look real. So that's what we're doing. And like I said, Scale Motorsport is very soft material, very easy to work with and uh, you just gotta be gentle with it, you know, and uh, use the right materials and the right tools and everything should be fine. Okay, now there's a little tiny bubble in there. I'm just gonna take the knife and just poke it. Make a little poking so the air can come out. Air and the liquid, of course. And you can see, we moved from here, we moved to the edge. This area you're not going to see, so I'm not worried about it. Okay. Push this guy in here because that's the area that's going to be right on the edge. As we can see. It's considered down where I'm coming from. Uh, this is the final touch. Mm -hmm. This is the final touch. Um, even though you're not going to see it, Yaniv is right here watching me, so I want to make sure he see that I'm giving everything I got. It's look fantastic, Arsi. You know? People, it take time. Yeah, if you, if you don't, if you don't. So, you know, it's basically considered done, most of it, so I'm just gonna put the heater again. Not too hard, just a little heater. Heat it up. Only a few points, but uh, that's considered done, basically. Okay, so we're gonna take this brush over here and uh, just shove it in here a little bit, stick it to that edge. Fantastic. Fantastic, fantastic. Awesome, huh, Yaniv? Awesome. Awesome. You can take the finger and just stick it in there like that. See, it's stuck in there. There's a little lump in here.
just stay on it for a few seconds. Let it firm in there and it's getting there. Slowly, slowly. Amazing work, Cassie. Thank you, Anif, thank you. Push it in there with the brush lightly. Let them give up. People, as you can see, one piece, one piece of cardboard fiber and we work on it uh, around half hour and uh, this is what I talk about. Half hour? Wow. Half I can't hour. believe the time fly. The time, time fly. fly. When, we, when you enjoy. Time, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Time flies though, time flies. You know, that's what I love about doing carbon fiber. You know, there is no, uh, it's not a contest of time. Mm -hmm. It's a matter of doing the job right. So if you tell me we just had a half hour, this is amazing because for me it felt like five minutes. <laughs> yeah, I don't feel the time. You know, look, I can still sit on it. I would love to sit on it and make sure everything is perfect. Like I said, all those areas right here, they're pointless. You know, you can take a, a knife and uh, you can cut it a little bit like in here. Look, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it a little bit just because we don't need that. See that part? Right here, you come, you remove that part a little bit, just so it won't be hanging around. Also. Oh yeah, it got stuck in there, it don't want even come out. Nobody see it. No, nobody see it, but. Put the car, let's see. You know how perfectionist I like to do things? You have no idea, man. I uh, <laughs> I want to make sure it's perfect as best as I can, even though we're not machines, we're human. But, you know, if you take your time and you do it right, okay. I'll uh, let Yaniv handle that part right here. Oh, I'm so excited. To show, to see what happens and what would be the outcome. Awesome. And you can see that the piece is right on. It took us about a half hour to do this piece, but if you do like few pieces, it will take you a little longer. So you do it in one piece and uh, you don't have to worry about it. Amazing. Yeah. It's, I see it look fantastic. Yeah. All the air vent. Wow. Yeah. I'm so excited to see it, guys. I hope that uh, people uh, see and uh, learn new things today with the AE hobby. Amazing guys. Uh, we will continue to talk and talk and talk and uh, we hope that you will uh, see and uh, learn. This is very important to us to share what we know for the people. So. This is all will be for today. I know that you not see many progress on the pista, but uh, as I say, you make this area and after that you take the same uh, template and put it uh, on a positive uh, side and cut it. So that's it, Asi, you wanna say something? Uh, no, it was really fun and we'll continue to do the rest of it. And uh, I hope you guys learned some you know a little bit more and uh it's always fun it's 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 the most important thing is that you enjoy doing it and uh once uh, we put the motor in there and then you see the carbon you know it's not just semi-gloss black you know it would just give it a better uh, look mm -hmm. and uh you know we'll continue the rest of it maybe yes, we we'll continue and so show the picture in the end yeah of course, of course <laughs> so of course. bye bye guys rosa model i'll see you with us thank you very much we love you thank you